Okay, this is Gabe Etzoken for MotorcycleDaily.com. I ride motorcycles so you don't have to. And I'm here at, uh, at the American International Motorcycle Expo in Orlando, Florida. And I'm following up on an interesting product that I told you about last year called the Motoped. And in that year, um, a lot has happened to the Motoped company. Uh, and what we have now is a fairly mature product that's uh, ready for deliver almost ready for delivery to customers now i'm, I'm here with uh, greg foster of motoped and uh, he's gonna tell us about uh about the uh, the motoped um th this is this is a moped right greg it is a moped but we also kind of more classified as a motorized bicycle than a moped because we're not running full dot equipment on it so the bike components and everything are basically a mountain bike component setup so your difference between that and the moped is most of your mopeds are going to come DOT equipped with DOT tires, light kits, high beam, low beam brakes, you know, turn signals, things like that, where your motorized bicycles do not. Okay. And uh, so, so the idea is that you have a uh, kind of a Honda Z50 type motor. Correct. That, uh, that hangs in this, in the, in the, in the frame, in the Correct. motoped frame. Ride it like a bicycle, or you yeah. can ride it like a moped. Yeah. So what we did when when Cam designed it, he went with the the CRF 50 style mounting brackets because that motor is the most copied or cloned motor on the planet. So in doing that, gave us and our consumers multiple options in terms of, of different motor setups, different size motors, um, and different manufacturing you know, manufacturers. So you can run a, a, a factory Honda motor if you wanted to. You can run. You know any of the Chinese copies of Chinese clone motors if you wanted to run those it gives you those various options um, at an extremely affordable price. Yeah and there's a lot of really interesting trick components on here. Yep. Uh, we'll probably take all day to talk about them but you also have a right. couple other models. We do. That we are do. really exciting. Now, this one's super so, cool. There's kind of a zombie theme here at the show and we're gonna they're gonna do a thing where if you shoot a zombie. Correct. Uh, you win a bike. Possibly. There's something yeah they're, they're gonna we're gonna play a little game this afternoon and It'll be kind of fun, you know, getting a lot of people in here to, you know, fire nerf guns at zombies. So, maybe this, this is kind of the bike that Cam was telling me kind of, kind of got a lot of attention for Motopin. This bike by itself really kind of went viral. We didn't have to do a whole lot of marketing with this bike, so to speak. So to speak. Yeah. Um, it, it captured the eyes of the survivalist, the hunter. Um, even some of the, the public service departments have reached out. Uh, military has seen some some you know glimpses of interest in this product. Oh really? So, <laughs> so this is going to be good. something that that will you know kind of shed some light into some markets that we wouldn't necessarily have tapped into with uh, with the Moto Pet Pro or even the new Cruiser. Yeah, yeah, and uh, a lot of really interesting, well developed touches on this bike. I guess a roto molded roto molded gas tank. Yes. Yeah, and then uh, you get to see kind of this interesting billet work. So in our rear rack, what we did with this bike is we put the rear rack on it so we can have the extra gas tanks, and this rear rack can handle about 50 pounds. So it gives you enough carrying capacity if you, you know, if you're a hunter and you and you you know, you know, got yourself some dinner or something like that, you know, or to load it up with with different accessories like on the Black Ops bike in terms of your survival prepping or whatnot that is that is specific to you and what your customs are going to use cool and then this is kind of an interest, really this this i think is going to catch the eye of a lot of our readers right here and this will this is the new cruiser so what we did with this is we went back to kind of an old school cafe racer style beach cruiser style bike um with the, you know, the steel tanks the wood fenders and, and just gave it that nostalgia type look yeah you know the the slick type wheels and the leather seats and things like that it's just a little bit different the cruiser bars and and whatnot just give it its own own nostalgia its own look yeah and, all, and i noticed all these bikes have disc brakes correct correct, correct. They're, they're bicycle discs right? they are bicycle discs but one thing that we did if you come around and we kind of maybe went a little overkill on it but what we did is we run a nine and a half inch or excuse me a nine inch uh rotor front and rear so most mountain bikes you know, are going to run either a, you know, 170, 180, you know, some of them will run a 203 millimeter, you know, rotor. We decided to run a, a 224 millimeter just to get that extra stopping power. 
So when you're when you're putting this kind of weight using mountain bike, yeah, well, what is what is the, the weight? Different. What are the, the weight of these bikes? The, each bike's a little bit different. I can tell you the survival is going to come in about 135. The Motoped Pro is about 110 to 120, depending on the motor you put in it. And the Cruiser is about the same as the Motoped Pro. It's about 120 pounds. Okay, that's that's not bad. I mean, where you're talking motorcycles, like it's, it's correct. Actually, extremely light and probably feels much more like a bicycle to ride than a, than a motorcycle. It absolutely does. In fact, when, when you're riding the bike, it, it rides extremely nimble, it rides extremely light. They're very fun and short track, um, you know, different riding like that because they are so light. But that's the beauty behind it. What, uh, and, and um, I, I'm just fascinated that, well, let's talk about pricing. Okay. Right? This one, I think you said, uh, well, you, you, you sell these bikes either in kit form as an assembled rolling chassis or as a turnkey. Or as a motorcycle. full turnkey. And the, and the full turnkey and the assembled bike is brand new for us. Because um, before, you know, prior to about a month and a half ago, we weren't doing anything. Everything came as a DIY kit. So it was a do it yourself, build it yourself. And we had some reasoning why we did that that way. And it, it allowed us to keep our price points down and keep the bikes affordable. So, what, so what's the. Uh, the pricing on, on the cruiser the, the model cruiser. as a DIY kit right now this bike starts at at $23.99 okay is where this bike's gonna start you're gonna add a couple hundred dollars if you want us to assemble it and then a couple of you know then you know another you know a couple hundred dollars if you want us to do it as a full turnkey bike with the motor with yeah. the motor so by the time you're so done the motors very inexpensive motors are very inexpensive so the, one of the things that we're that we're moving towards right now is our motors are gonna be full EPA and ARB approved so they will be North American certified between December and January. Okay. Okay. And uh, so let's see. So twenty nine ninety five. No, thirty. How much? This one was as the kit. This starts at twenty three ninety nine. Okay. The the survival bike was twenty four ninety nine. Okay. And the Motoped Pro was nineteen ninety nine. Okay. And then ready to ride. How much for the for the cruiser? It's going to be right around twenty nine ninety nine. Right around that three thousand dollar area. Fully assembled. Fully ready assembled. To go, ready to ready. ride. Go about 30 miles an hour, right? Probably just a little bit under. Okay. You know, using the motors that we're going to run. And also very fuel efficient. So Extremely 100, fuel efficient. Great plus, question. Yeah. 100 plus miles per gallon. What they're talking about, in fact, right now we're seeing potentials of fuel economy running in that 170 to 180 area um, using some new technology that we're working on. But we'll, we'll get to that in the next one. Okay. Um, the survival bike as a full turnkey bike is 3200 or 3199 Okay. And then the the Motoped Pro as a full turnkey bike is twenty six fifty. And that's and it's surprising given the I mean really gorgeous look of the gas tank and these and these fenders. So and the Brooks saddle. Yeah. Yeah. So Absolutely. it's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Well, this has been really fun and interesting, Greg. Thanks very much for sharing uh, these bikes with us. You got it. Thank you. Appreciate it.